Hey everyone, it's George here on Bardsley. Um, I'm sat in the North Hyde again. Um, there's, um, I'm not sure whether it's southwest or northwest. I think it's southwesterly winds looking at which way the waves are going. But it's an onshore um, breeze, <coughs> if you can call it a breeze. Um, so the seabirds are a bit closer in today, so I thought I'd come down and have a look. Um, it's not been bad, I've had about 400 uh, Manx shearwaters, um, which is reasonable. Um, it's not fantastic, but it's not bad. Um, that's easily beaten in the autumn, but um, I don't think it's too bad for um, at the moment. Um, I've had two sandwich turns, which I think are the second record of the year, and two arctic turns, which are the first. Um, everything's been going south, really, into the wind. Max is like cutting into the wind. Um, I think the turns probably do too. Um, otherwise, um, 40 gannets, um, 30 kitty weight, over 100 orcs, um, mostly razor bills coming from the colony, um, a few shags and cormorants as well. Um, so yeah, it's not been bad. Um, oh, I've also had a few swallows um, that have gone over the sea going south. Um, so yeah, it's not been bad so far. Um, over the last last week, I suppose, um, me and Sam have been going out dazzling. Um, in the evenings to try and catch some of the waders uh, that are on the island at the moment. There's quite a few wimbrels, there's about 40 I think um, around the island at the moment that kind of spread out over the whole coast so um, it's a bit difficult to count them properly um, <clears throat> but it's about 40. Um, there's a few dumbling around as well um, so I went out uh, with Sam a few nights ago um, he went to the Narrows and I went to the South End. He caught two Dunlin um, on the Narrows. I caught um, a female Greenland Wheater on the South End and two Wimbrels. Uh, the Greenland Wheater was massive. Um, she had a wing length of, I think it was 105 millimetres, um, but she weighed 43 and a half grams. Uh, to give you an idea, we've caught a male Greenland Wheater with a wing two millimetres longer than hers and he only weighed 33 grams. So she had an extra 10 grams and had the same fat score and muscle score as him. So she was just huge. Um, so yeah, that was really nice. Um, but yeah, she had a massive fat score, so she'd probably be ready to leave soon um, and head back to Greenland. Um, the Wimbrels, <clears throat> they're really nice because there's a colouring project here on Bardsey, so um, they were brought back to the OBS and fitted with two um, uncoded colourings on the left leg and a colouring over the metal BTO ring on the right leg. Um, so it's different com combinations, they're not coded rings. Um, so yeah, um, we'll put uh, Steve's email address in the description on YouTube and in the tweet so that um, if anyone spots any of these uh, Wimbrels, they can get in touch and let us know where they're going. Um, the colourings just kind of make it more likely um, that these birds will be recited. Um, so it kind of makes, well, it improves the chance for recovery basically. Um, because I'm sure plenty of you out there will have been birding, seen a bird with a metal ring on, but usually you can't get close enough to get any of the digits on it or all of the digits so um <clears throat> it's usually no good um so yeah hopefully we'll get something back on those so we've done three wimbrels now we caught two on that night and then i went out and caught another one um and on that same night that i caught that third one um i was on honkluin and i was following a wimbrel in my torchlight and it walked in front of another wader and for a minute I couldn't work out what it was 
um, and it was a grey plover. And I had a, an idea of how um, how few have been ringed um, on here because, well, the scarce migrants has it only a few records a year. I think we've had, it's been quite good this spring, I think we've had like five records or something so far. Um, so yeah, I managed to catch that. That was the fourth to be ringed on Bardsey. Um, so I was very pleased with that. Um, yeah, um, I also caught a Dunlin on that night. <clears throat> and then since then, uh, Steve and Emma went on a walk down to the lighthouse. I think that was maybe two nights ago, three nights ago. And they caught two Dunlin and a purple sandpiper. Now Steve knew that purple sandpiper was a ringing tick for me. Um, I hadn't done one before. So I was asleep because they got back at something like half past one. And um, don't ask me why they go on walks that late. It's nice enough in the day. Um, they got back at something like half past one. They came and woke me up, came down, took this purple sandpiper out and it was already ringed. So I didn't get to ring it, which was a shame. However, it is nice enough to see them in the hand. They're absolutely gorgeous birds. Um, and in the torchlight at certain angles, um, the purple on them is stunning. Um, everywhere really, on the rump, on the back, on the wings. Um, so yeah, if you do see purple sands and it's a sunny day, then watch them as they're feeding on the rocks and you'll probably see some of the purple. Um, but yeah, it was absolutely stunning. Um, I don't think I'd, well no, I hadn't seen it like that before. I think I'd managed to see it once when I've been on Hillbury, um, but yeah, no. Gorgeous birds, so that was nice. Um, and yeah, they caught two Wimbles as well. Uh, two Wimbles, sorry, uh, two Dunlins. Um, so yeah, I think we've done seven Dunlin now this year. Um, three Wimbles, three Oyster Catchers and a grey plover, I think that's all we've done. By the end of the year, we should have done Sandlin, Turnstone, hopefully Purple Sandpiper. Um, they're not the easiest to catch because they're usually out on the rocks. Um, but I imagine we'll have done one by the end of the year. I hope so anyway. Um, so yeah, it's been pretty good actually. Um, this morning, well, yesterday, there was two uh, black red starts in the courtyard at the Obs. Um, and one of them was feeding literally right outside the office window. You might have seen on Twitter, that was very nice. Um, yeah, two black red starts. And then today there's a female pie fly catcher in the garden, um, feeding outside of Steve's window. So there's a, there's a pattern here. They seem to like to distract us while we're trying to work. And um, one of the black red starts is still there in the courtyard. Uh, Sam's had uh, the Lapland bunting, the female Lapland bunting that's been on the south end, that's still there. Um, and yeah, like I say, I've had two sandwich turns and two arctic turns um, and Manxies. So yeah, it's, uh, it's very nice here at the moment. It's a bit of a grim day really, it's very grey. Kind of very dark and dreary and windy. The sea doesn't look too rough anymore. It was quite windy earlier on. I got woke up by the wind in the night. I think it was windiest overnight. So it was quite rough to start with and it's kind of calmed down a bit. Um, so I imagine there would have been quite a lot of passage earlier on. So yeah, it's been good. It's been very good. Um, so with Arctic turn on the list now. I think it might be 112, 113 for the year. Uh, I'm not sure, I'll have to have a look when I update the blog later on. Um, so yeah, all good here. Um, hopefully everyone at home is doing all right. Um, obviously lockdown is uh, tough, so hopefully everyone is bearing up okay. Um, but yes, um, that's it for me, I think. 
um, we'll try and keep you updated uh, with anything else that turns up. Um, we're doing a lot of indoor work at the moment while the weather isn't very good uh, because, well, it's the burden's pretty poor, um, so it's a good chance to get it done. So that if it does, well, when it livens up, um, we can go out and do that and we've not got indoor stuff that we need to be doing. So me and Sam are entering the ringing data um, from this year so far, this afternoon. So we've got over a thousand birds to put in, which should take us a little while. Um, but yes, <coughs> yeah, that's it from here. So hopefully everyone's safe um, and well. Yeah, like I say, we'll try and keep you up to date with anything that turns up. Um, but yeah, that's it for now. So bye guys.